One of my favorite snacks is to take a whole head of cauliflower to break off the florets of the cauliflower. Um, obviously, you wash them and everything like that. Uh, to drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil and then to season with a couple of my favorite seasonings. We've got smoked paprika. I swear, I think this always smells like barbecue sauce to me. I, I don't know. It just does. Um, maybe paprika is in barbecue sauce. I don't know. I'm not a chef. I'm not a cook. Let me know. Uh, also, ground turmeric. I put a little bit of turmeric on the cauliflower along with the paprika, maybe a little bit of pepper, and I put it in the air fryer and let that let those bad boys air fry because they're like the little florets. Oh my gosh, so good, so crispy, crunchy, and like so so tasty. And guys, no salt. We are talking about ways to season your food to make your food taste so tasty without adding salt. Also, I'm going to tell you how much salt is too much. By the way, this is not an advertisement for seasonings. It's just the seasonings I have. Another one of my favorite um, snacks is with cumin, ground cumin. Okay, so what do I do here? I I love avocado toast. So I get like, um, I get whole grain bread, kind of like the lighter whole grain bread. Okay. Cause you know, actually bread can have a lot of salt in it itself. It can also have a lot of calories, a lot of sugar. So you want to be careful about the bread you eat. Uh, remember I did that video on, um, uh, foods that are not always great for your blood pressure and breads are not always the best because they can have a lot of salt in them. So be mindful of that. Um, but I, I love avocado toast. So I get sort of a healthier slice of bread, put the avocado, the mushed up avocado on it, right? And then I love putting ground cumin on top, like sprinkling on top. O-M-G. So yummy. Um, like I, I never even like, and actually I got this idea from a restaurant that I went to and I think they did this. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. Um, so consider cumin guys. There's a lot of things we can do with spices um, that will keep us from adding salt to our food. By the way, um, first of all, Americans, we often get 3,400 milligrams of salt in our diet per day or more. The um, the recommended amount is 2,300 milligrams of sodium or salt, which equates to about a teaspoon for the whole day. That's right. And actually, the American Heart Association wants us to sort of lean closer to the 1,500 milligrams of sodium mark. Now, if you are saying, well, Dr. Jen, I don't use my salt shaker. Well, that wouldn't surprise me. A lot of people don't, but actually uh, we get most of our salt and sodium intake from processed and prepared foods. When you go to um, convenience stores, when you go to drive throughs and things like that, packaged foods, that's where we get a lot of it. But back to other ways to season your food without salt. Okay. Yes. Let me do. Okay. This has actually been something I use a lot more now in marinades and things like that a little a good old lemon juice. And like I used to, well, obviously you could use the lemon too, but I used to also cut up the lemon and squeeze it into my tea. Now I just use lemon juice. I'm like, Oh my God, so much easier. Anyway, uh, for marinades and stuff like that, and also gives it a nice little tang. Love, love, love this. Also remember there's other citrus things. You can use limes. Also orange can serve as good marinade. It's got that citrus in it, which is awesome. Um, of course, let's see here. Two of my old standbys. Uh, we've got garlic and we've got onion. Now, I mean, what do I love even more than the garlic powder is I love the actual garlic, right? So however you use it, remember, don't forget your garlic, your onion. If you don't want to be chopping up onion, oh, I think I have an onion in there I forgot to bring. But anyway, you get the point, whether it's like actual onion and garlic or the powder, totally fine. Oh, and something else that I really love to do is I buy the yogurt. Oh, drop it down. I buy yogurt, not a brand endorsement. It's just this stuff is literally from my refrigerator. Um, I buy big containers of non-fat Greek yogurt. And what I do is sometimes I will use the yogurt as a base and put uh, spices and seasonings into the yogurt to kind of make like um, uh, like a coating for meats and things like that to sort of cook meats in and things to give it some flavor. So remember, you can do that as well. Lots of options. Of course, there is pepper. And I'll tell you one way that I like, but the way I really like the pepper is you see, I like the big kernels of this. I really feel like when I grind it, because I really like the spiciness of pepper, I like the ground pepper uh, rather than just the regular. So experiment with things like that. So those are just a few things you guys can try at home. Um, tell me what your favorite spices are, your favorite seasonings to use instead of salt uh, that you love. Put them in the comments because honestly, what you write in the comments, honestly, a lot of other people learn from and I will learn from too. These are just a few of my favorites. Let me know what you think. Share this video with other people you think might benefit from it. I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos on all sorts of stuff. I'm Facebook, please like and follow my page. Uh, if you uh, have sent stars to me, thank you so much. I will respond to you personally. Also consider joining my exclusive groups um, for exclusive content, uh, Dr. Jen Superstars. On YouTube, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.